Hi, my name is Sarthak, and today I'm going to show you how you can set up CloudWatch events to stream the flow execution notifications of Amazon AppFlow in near real time to your own choice of targets. As you may know, Amazon AppFlow is a fully managed integration service that enables you to securely transfer data between SaaS applications and AWS services in just a few clicks. In the process of transferring the data, AppFlow produces certain types of event notifications. You can now use CloudWatch to transfer the flow execution notifications to over 15 plus different targets. In this demo, we will show how you can generate a simple email notification whenever we execute a flow on AppFlow. We will do this by sending the flow start event notification from AppFlow to Amazon Simple Notification Service by using CloudWatch. So let's dive right in. So this is my AWS management console. Over here, I'm going to look for CloudWatch service. Within CloudWatch, we want to look for the events section and create a rule around AppFlow events. So this is where the section exists. You click on the rules. You click on create rule. Now within this section, you have to specify as to which particular service do you want those events from. So over here, I'll click and select AppFlow. Within AppFlow, you have different events that you can possibly extract into CloudWatch. I'm going to go for AppFlow start flow run report. If you want info, more information about what kind of events exist and what kind of fields you can get from it, you can simply go to Amazon AppFlow's user guide. And within the flow notification section, you will have detailed description about different kind of flow events, what kind of common fields you can expect out of those flow events, and what are those flow events specific details that you can get if you are going to capture those events using CloudWatch. So going back over here, you can look at the preview or the samples of these different events or edit these different events if you like. Now, in the target section, we have to specify as to where do we want these events information to be sent by CloudWatch. As we spoke about, we are going to use SNS topics for our own case. Now, as you can see, we don't necessarily have a specific topic defined just yet. So let's quickly go to SNS service and define that for us. So let's open the AWS console one more time. We go to simple notification service. We start off by defining a topic name to which we are going to attach and subscribe our email address. We click next. On this particular page, we can define and modify different settings for this particular topic, which can include the policies, encryption, delivery status, and whatnot. For now, we are going to go for the default setting. As you can see, the topic of AppFlow demo has been created. Now we will go ahead and create a subscription and subscribe our email address to, to this particular topic. To do that, we go to protocols, select the email setting, and simply enter the email address that you want to subscribe to this. We go down, we click, we click on create subscription. Subscription has been created, but the status is still pending. So let's open up a Gmail and confirm this particular subscription. We go to Gmail. Let's wait for the message. We have it in the spam folder. We go to AWS subscription, click on confirm. And as you can see, subscription has been confirmed. I will refresh this page and you can see the status is confirmed. So what we have done over here is we have created a new topic in SNS service and subscribed our email address to it. So let's go back to the CloudWatch event. This time we're going to go in again, select SNS topic, select the topic that we just created, go down, click next, give this a name. and create the rule. Now, as you can see, we already have a rule created in CloudWatch. Now let's test it out 
by running an app flow flow and seeing if it actually generates an email for us. So one more time, we're going to open up our AWS console. This time I'm going to open the app flow, look for one of the existing flows that I've already created. Let's say the one for transferring data between Slack to S3. And I'm going to manually run this flow. As soon as I do that, I expect to see an email giving me information about this particular flow run. And as you can see, I already have an AWS notification generated by CloudWatch by sending that particular flow event to Amazon SNS. This has all the information about flow name, who it was created by, so on and so forth. So this was a small demo. Uh, we hope you enjoy that. Uh, to learn more about Amazon AppFlow, please visit our website. All the relevant links are going to be there within the description section. Thank you so much and have a good day.